Hi everybody, just a quick video showing you how to set up a custom workout on the Garmin Connect app. You can do some of this on the watch itself, but I find the Connect app much easier to work with and all the workouts created there can be sent over to the watch itself. So let's jump in, push to open the Garmin Connect app, push more, go into training, workouts and create the workout. There you'll see a screen with the different sports you can create your workout in. The first workout we're going to do is a run interval. 5 by 200 meters with a 1 minute rest. To do that, select the run. You see a preset screen showing you a warm up, a run, step, and a cool down. So to start fresh here, delete the run step. Then go ahead and push add a repeat. Change the repeat from 2 to 5 times. Push the run step and change that duration from 1 kilometer to 0.2 kilometers. Then go ahead and push to recover. So we're gonna change that from three minutes to one minute. Once that's done, you need to move that so it comes between the warm up and the cool down. Finally, save, give it a name, and there you go. Last thing you need to do is to push that workout and then the top right button to sync with your chosen device. The next time you sync your watch with your Garmin Connect app, the workout will transfer over to your watch. So let's go ahead and check out how this looks on the watch itself. Go ahead and start a run activity. Press and hold the left middle button. Go into training, my workouts, you will see your created workout there. You can review the steps on the watch itself. We have a warm up, a run, recover, repeat those two steps five times and then a cool down until lap press. So go ahead and push do workout. So then go ahead and start the warm up until you press the lap button. Once that's done, the first 200 meter interval will start. And if we then fast forward, just to see how it looks at the end here, we'll get to the last recover segment of one minute. After that, push the lap button. You will get to the cooldown until lap press. When you do that, it will tell you that the workout has ended. After that, it's just go ahead and save this as a normal activity. So let's go ahead and create a bike workout. This is set up as a bike interval, four by 10 minutes with an intensity target of 200 to 220 watts with a two minute rest. So go into the training menu, select workout, create the workout, bike. Go ahead and delete the bike step, select add a repeat, change that from two to four times. On the bike step, go ahead and change the duration from 20 to 10 minutes. And then select intensity target. So on target type, go ahead and select custom power zones. On set target, select your lower power, which is 200. And then on the right side, select the higher power target setting. So we're gonna have a Try and have a steady state interval here between 200 and 220 watts. On the recover, we're gonna change that from five to two minutes. Once that's done, drag the bike step so it comes between the warm up and the cool down. Select the name for the interval, go ahead and save that. And once again, you can sync it to your watch by pushing the interval and selecting the sync button on the top right corner. Lastly, let's set up a swim interval, a 10 by 50 meter with a one minute rest. To do that, go ahead and create a workout, select pool swim. First of all, make sure you select the correct pool size, which in my case is 25 meters. Then for the warm up, I want to change that from uh, 100 to 200, so that's eight lengths in my case. Then the repeat step, select 10, and on the swim step, Go from 100 to 50 and select freestyle, which is one I want to do here. For the rest, I want to change from a lap button press to a fixed rest time of one minute. So it will just start by itself. Going back, uh, also want to set the cooldown to 200 meters for this specific workout. And once that's done, I can go ahead and save that workout as a pool interval. And it will also sync to the watch the next time you do that with Garmin Connect.
just a quick comment on the number of workouts you can do here. So many options with duration, time, intensity targets, the number of steps you can add to a workout. Although one limit I have seen here, and someone might have found a way around this, is that I can't do multi-sports workout as of yet. So here's hoping for a software update that would enable that. But uh, this is really an easy way, I think, to create some custom workouts and to sync them to your watch.